Okay, here we go. Yay. All right. I know we need light back here, but I need, I think I need a new light bulb and it hasn't happened. So <laughs> I'll put it on my to-do list to fix that lamp. Welcome. Hi, Sheree's with us on Zoom. And let's see who's going to come and hop in on the Facebook Live. I'll give everyone a couple minutes to kind of come hang out. There's today's do it quick. So the priority for today is that I walk you through just the quick steps and I'm going to try to walk you through it with a lot of visuals. So your mind like takes it in, you know, and you can just be like, what was the first step? What was the second step? Because truly, really like what I've noticed with planning and organizing ourselves with everything it's so much easier when we're ready for it like you have your meditation spot you've got your planner somewhere either like paper or excel or your ipad like you just got things ready so that when you feel like okay i'm gonna sit down to really do this visualization and mix with your emotions you'll be ready to go you won't be kind of wavering and scattered and you know caught between what should I do should I be planning tomorrow should I just relax and watch Netflix <laughs> what should I go first so I'm going to walk you through the steps and I need to go get my phone I don't know if anyone sent me a message on WhatsApp um, but if you did I have not checked my phone in a while so I'm sorry if you sent me a message and you were trying to tell, ask me something about today's live. Okay, so just a quick heads up. We'll do a couple announcements. Um, giveaways are on. I'm going to share with you a few more ways you can gain more entries into the giveaway. So obviously sharing about the giveaway in your stories, on your post, and tagging me will get you a, a definite in the giveaway. Like your name will definitely be in. And if you participate, you come on the calls or you rewatch, like you watch the replay and you comment and you participate, you also get in the giveaway. Um, when you share about it, I think I'm going to give people five entries. And then when you come on and comment and uh, hang out on, on each of them, you get an entry. So I might come up with other ways you gain, you gain more entries. So the more, your the more times your name is in like this giveaway, platform thing i'll show you guys later the one i found then you have a higher chance of winning something out of all the things i'm very happy to be sharing with you um so that was that if you want to watch the replays they're all on youtube if you like youtube as an app and you don't want to come on facebook all the time to watch the video what's cool about youtube is that you can play back 1.25 or 1.5. So I start sounding like a chipmunk, just be careful. And then you have subtitles or captions and you also can, if you have the YouTube premium, you can like play the video and just be on another app on your phone. So you can be on, you can be like using notes or anything else on your phone. You can even turn, turn the screen off and the video will still play, which personally I kind of love that. I think that's pretty cool. Okay, so who's with us today? Let me go on the Facebook group, say hi. Let me see. If I'm in the right place. Okay, hi, Dorothy, yay. <laughs> awesome, who else is with us? All right, let's report any awesome gains or wins. Can you tell me either Shirley on Zoom or anyone who's been kind of vibing with us this week, what have you found to be like mind boggling? You're like, whoa, I got through so much so quickly, or your to-do list feels more doable. You don't feel so overwhelmed. You don't feel so anxious. Your nervous system's more regulated. I've heard some pretty incredible things that have come out of this resource page that I'm going to share here. So if Welcome, you're new- Welcome, beautiful, beautiful goddess. What's going on? Woman, Oh, sister. it's this. I'm like, where is it coming from? Uh, so if you're new to this group and you're starting with us now, just make sure you get over to this URL. It's alexktracy.com slash planner party because you've got some really powerful, quick meditations and the blessing ball of light have been pretty 
people have told me some pretty next level things are manifesting with this. So make sure you kind of head there and hang around and download things and I'll walk you through how to use them. Okay, I'm going to walk you through how to use everything today. So if you've been feeling kind of lost and you're like, how do we go faster through this process? Today's the day. Okay, cool. So let me share with you my, I have a quick presentation for anyone who's more of a press. What, how did this thing just show up? Hang on ladies. Out of the blue, what are these circles? Oh, I know what's going on. Hang on ladies. Jeez. This is giving you permission to start a presentation and not be ready. <laughs> Oh my gosh, do it quick. Today's do it quick for all my busy moms or anyone who's busy in general or don't have the patience to be like, how do we do this? Okay, so let me share, present. Okay, let's go. And feel free to comment in the Facebook group or on Zoom if you have any questions. Okay, here we go. So, you can do this the night before, you could do it today for tomorrow, or you could do this for, in the, for today. So sometimes it's like noon and I'm like, all right, I did everything I needed to do that I planned yesterday. Now, what am I going to do this afternoon? And I do the process over the day of. So you're welcome to do this the day of if you didn't get around to do it the day before. It's better to do it the day before because if you'll see that you'll you start to have this plasticity in your mind, this neuroplasticity where your mind just takes a task and gets it done without wavering thinking anxiety. So the more you start to visualize things before you do them, the more your mind will just have this very easy, flowy, like ready to go. And that's what meditation also gives you is this sense of nervous system regulation with more neuroplasticity willing to change willing to get things done so what do i see as a completed result obviously there are two ways to do this maybe more than two let me know if you found other ways i guess you could use oral cards or something but the two ways is either to decide what you see yourself do where you uh, you know you decided i'm going to go grocery shopping i'm going to make dinner you know i'm going to go to the gym or you let pictures come to you, which is another cool way. You meditate and you just wait for inspiration and guidance to come in. So before we start doing that, a couple of mistakes to avoid, which can really get you stuck in overworking, is if you write down a goal that's not super specific with an end result. So Dorothy and I you know, had fun with this where she said, oh, I'm writing my website, but that's a command for your mind to write your website forever. Like, you know, so you got to be really specific with even making dinner can mean that you're going to make dinner forever. So instead, it's more like I've written two pages. I've completed two pages for my website that I love. That's really authentic. And I have found my voice. You can add some extra little bits in there so that you're scripting tomorrow. You want it to be something that kind of elicits a positive feeling like going to the gym is kind of bland but working out on the elliptical while listening to my favorite podcast is going to create those like excitement in your mind like a reward so when you mix a task with a reward your mind's like let's go it's pleasurable it's not going to resist you as much okay ladies so maybe you're like oh i've been meaning to listen to this master class connect it with a thing you don't want to do so if you need to go you know, drive somewhere and you're like, I don't want to drive there. Just tell your mind, we're going to drive there, but we're going to listen to this master class we've been wanting to listen to. So then you're blending two things together, which that's a really good little, you know, habit. Um, not breaking down a goal into enough specific small tasks. So if we have time today, I'll, we'll definitely walk through that. This is something you probably all have heard everyone tell you, like, if you want to be more productive, maybe your big goal isn't specific enough and small enough, but I don't know if you guys actually like, you know, do that. do you guys actually do it where you're like, okay, I made I made writing a book into a smaller digestible step, <laughs> you know, writing a book, maybe you break it down into <laughs> what are the 12 chapters about? <laughs> All right. So I see four comments, but I'm not, 
Let me see. I don't see everyone's comments. Oh, here you are. Hi, Marvin. I did some admin work that I don't like doing. Oh, you did it. That's amazing. Hi, Catherine. Oh, I love it. And ladies, we also are going to keep going next week. I'm going to post the times and dates tomorrow uh, because next week we have more. We're going to have an energy reading party or two. I might do two to really match everybody's time zones because I know we have some ladies in Australia and Singapore. And we're also going to do a shop with me and we're going to do more fun things. So hang around for next week. Okay. So that's kind of the couple mistakes to avoid is watch how you word it so you don't get caught up in it, you know? All right. So get curious. It's really fun. You can play some of your favorite meditation music. You can sit in your favorite chair where you kind of feel peaceful. You can make it a very fun habit of like before dinner you do this before you get down to watch netflix you do this you can have a deal with yourself it's like i will read my favorite book or i will watch my favorite show but as long as i've done this before like you can also kind of do that it's a hack right you re you reward yourself with the thing you really want to do tonight but beforehand you get curious about tomorrow so you can you can kind of meditate on this you guys let me show you where is my meditation no nope, my meditation picture yeah so you meditate on tomorrow where do i go tomorrow do i work from home do i go work at a cafe what have i completed and i kind of like to do that sometimes where i'm like let show me you know this is kind of one of the things i do is i will tell my future like i will tell like how do i speak okay I script it. So I say, I have taught an amazing masterclass this month. I love teaching this masterclass. People really get to know me, like me, trust me. I have so much fun teaching it, right? But I don't know what it is. I just spoke it. I said it. And I decided it. And I kind of sent it out into the quantum field or into my future. And then I, I don't know, I forget about it. And a week or a day later, I get this like idea. Oh. I'm going to do this. And I posted in Facebook. And usually this is what happened for this is I posted about this and a bunch of people responded or interested. And so I'm like, oh, I'm going to do it on this. So sometimes it really is fun to speak things into being like my desire. I desire to have a really fun birthday this year. And I don't know where or how. And then the idea comes in. Yeah. Is that fun? Does that sound fun for anyone to kind of do like, so you're not so, you know, you, it's not all on you to figure it all out. You can like be more of a fairy <laughs> and be like, I'm having the best year of my life, dot, dot, dot. And you leave the how for the universe to come back with it. It's kind of like, this is really how I, I have such a fun life is I just make those statements with complete innocence and I take guided action. So putting it into a smaller scale of I've got, I've had such a great week. I'm so productive. I'm able to be a really great mom and really great with my clients. And then when I meditate or I'm feeling into my tomorrow, I don't get the specificity. Does that make sense, ladies? I'll see it. Oh, by the way, yesterday, if you haven't caught the replay, um, we did a third eye activation with a crystal or with your hand. So if you feel like, Alex, I don't really see things, just maybe check out day three. I'll post the timestamp soon, so you can just fast forward to that part if you need to. But it's like maybe in the middle, uh, we did some, we took a crystal and opened up your third eye and, and connected it to the back of your brain. So you can kind of be a bit more visual if you want. But you guys, intuition is a muscle. So the more you use it, the more you're going to be able to see things. All right. Okay, another really amazing thing that you probably all know to do this, but maybe you don't do it enough, is a brain dump of everything. And that's a typo, divide it up. So I, if I get overwhelmed with too many things in my head, I'll just brain dump everything, business and personal, on one page. All the things I got to do for me, my son, the house, family, business clients, I just dump it all on there. And then very intuitively, I decide what's really urgent, what's very important, what's important and what can wait. You guys, I learned this years ago and it's so 
like it just lifts everything off of your shoulders because now you're like, okay, what do I really need to schedule this, like this week today, you know? And then I was talking to Natalie, um, my RTT bestie in Australia. And what, what I, what sometimes can happen is when you feel divided between, you know, all the things you want to do as a mom and then all the things you want to do for your business, what can be really helpful to, to take a step back obviously like listen to what you need as a mom and what you need as a businesswoman, but take a bigger kind of bird's eye view over what would really satisfy me to do, what would be like so satisfying to do as a mom. And most of the time, those are not gonna take that long if you're intentional. If you're like, okay, if I take my kids out to lunch twice this week and we spend 15 minutes of complete undivided attention, like where I'm completely with him, we read a book, whatever, that might really support your mother archetype and then or whatever other archetype you feel battling with your, you know, you may have the business archetype who's like, battling with the part in you who just wants to chill and not work so finding what is important to you for those different identities and um scheduling them in and so that this unconscious part like this subconscious part feels really safe hanging around you and being with you and she won't fight you as much any questions on those like parts and identities yeah okay so um and you'll feel so much better like i love this practice okay so then i think it was day two i walked you through yeah i walked you through making a list of what you have versus what you want and making a list of everything you've already accomplished it's such a huge hack like it tells your mind that you're someone who gets stuff done so then it allows you to get more things done not that i want you to be like a workhorse but it helps to trust yourself so you don't hear the voice of that's a great idea but i'll never implement it or i don't know how and all of that so yeah i think day two we really i really did my best to show you the pivot so whenever you're stuck in looking you can pivot to being a finder if you're stuck in i don't know you can pivot to i know if you're stuck in i'm just a student you can pivot into i'm the expert so i have a lot of pivots like that i love to kind of teach about but just remember whatever state you're in there's an opposite that you can tap into so uh the reason i say just pick one or two if you're starting is because well you can gain more trust in yourself hey i i framed so framing um you'll frame goals it just means that you see it as a completed result you write why you love it like your heart is really gonna feel safe, your head, your mind, everything's going to be connected, like heart, mind connection. What do I, what do I see? What do I love it? And how did I complete it? And by what time? So this isn't like at 9am, you know how people tell us, put in your schedule that at 9am you're going to the gym. I don't feel connected to that. And if I don't feel connected to it at 9am, I'm going to be like doing everything, but the gym, I'll be in bed reading a book. You know, I don't like to be told what to do even by myself. So I'm a rebel, so I can't meet my own expectations and I can't meet external expectations, but I can do what I feel is my identity. So if I feel my heart is in, is included in it, like it's my heart's involved, then I'm definitely going to do it. So I don't feel connected to go to the gym, but I feel connected to listen to my favorite podcast while I'm working out. I could definitely do that. So let me go back super quick to, all right, um, sorry, ladies. I wanted to show you something that I wrote down that somehow did not get shown. Oh yeah, here. So the framing goals is when we use your emotions. We use emotions with your intuition to see ideal end results completed, it will soften any resistance and push back from your mind. So what usually creates resistance and push back from the mind is like a conflicting archetype in your head who's like, who are you to do this? You can't do this. This is not who we are. We don't just have success with these. We struggle. We're a victim. I'm going to talk a little bit more about that today, like the identity work that you could do for yourself. 
but when you connect it with your heart it just bypasses all that crap okay so if you do emotions intuition and you do the what one minute somatic audios which is on approval control safety which i'll show you in a second you're going to have a calmer nervous system when you have a calmer calmer nervous system you access your genius and your intuition okay and you get through everything half the time i think a lot of you guys told me either in dms or in the whatsapp group you said wow i got through so much so quickly that was amazing right like just doing this work okay so do, is this something you guys could start doing like trying to visualize what's what you get done tomorrow and maybe even it will surprise you you'll get like you'll get visions of things you're like whoa i once did this when i was in vegas i was starting out as a healer and i saw that i went to work at a cafe on my computer like i mean i was a healer working on my computer like i was writing blog posts and and i ended up going to this cafe these vegan cafe in vegas and my friend um was a chef who did a tv show in vegas and she ended up uh seeing me and going oh we're doing interviews today. Can I interview you for my TV show? It was a, like a local Vegas TV show, but I ended up getting a lot of clients through that TV show. And I would have never gone to that cafe had I not seen it in my third eye while sitting on my bed meditating, you know? So you never know, you might really get an, inspira an ins inspired idea by doing this work. So regulating your nervous system can also be really cool um to clear fears so yesterday we did it day three sometimes we have fear around what if it works what if i become successful or i can't remember the fears yesterday that we did i know i walked jessica through one right uh I, hi alex will these presentation slides be available for download oh yes i can thanks for asking me that because i don't i'll i'll put them in the facebook group so to help regulate your nervous system, you have the fear turnaround, you have the blessing ball of light, you have your aura brightener on the website, you've got uh, those one minute audios right here. They're all on the website that I showed at the beginning. I don't know if you guys saw, it's the alexktracy.com slash planner dash party. So after you've set the goals, you get, after you frame the goals, you go to bed, you do whatever, you go watch your Netflix, you don't think about it anymore, okay? Then the next day you wake up, unless, okay, unless you do this the day of, then you do the framing goals and the setting goals right away. So setting the goals is linking it with love and emotion. That's what setting the goal means, is now you're telling your mind, I've completed it, I link it to love. So is the intention to complete my admin tasks linked to love probably not it's probably linked to wanting control or wanting safety okay let me tell you a little bit about this okay um okay let me walk you through this and then i'll explain why it's so important let's say you need to deal with taxes and you have this fear of doing it wrong or you have a fear of paying taxes if you clear your fear around it you're going to get it done so much quicker your mind's going to be clearer and you also are less likely to get what you're afraid of. So if you're afraid of like, I don't know, doing it wrong or pay, having to pay something, you end up actually not manifesting the thing you were afraid you'd manifest. Parveen's on the call. I know she got her, she used this process to actually get a debt, I think taken down by half, right? It was like completely gone or half a tax, a tax, tax bill. I'm not against paying taxes, but I just don't, I just think sometimes we manifest worst case scenarios because we're a vibrational match for them. So use those three audios to clear your fear around something you need to do, will help you get it done and also will help you not manifest it the way that you're afraid you're going to manifest it. Yeah. Does it feel aligned with your emotional authority? This is really only if you're like, are into human design so if you're a sacral generator like sacral center you might be like yes no splenic if you're an emotional authority just ignore this column because your emotional authority might need a whole month before you know so this is just you feeling into yes this feels aligned or no and if it's a no you can maybe clear it a little bit more and see if you want to maybe just do it tomorrow or another day 
Do you like the result? Can you commit with enthusiasm? <laughs> Whenever I see this, I feel like it's uh, legally blonde, like the blonde, um, what's her name? I forgot. Um, I always use her as an example. Legally blonde, someone tell me. I'm on top of everything like one third. Yeah, what's her name? Legally blonde. Okay, well, she's like very enthusiastic about everything. So like a cheerleader. Yes, I am committed to the goal. Yes, with enthusiasm. Like you have an internal cheerleader. Someone just told me the name. Elle Woods. I heard it in my head. Thank you. I visualize with enthusiasm the setting of this goal. Yeah. So one year, you guys, I was ping-ponging, which means clearing my oppositions to being on top of everything. And I ended up being like total Elle Woods. I was organizing my pens according to color into different little pen holders. It was hilarious. I turned into this Elle Woods who's on top of everything. And I got my mind to accept that I could be on top of everything, which was really cool. So watch out. Ping-ponging can like really help bring lots of things. Um, so yeah, you just link the goal with love by clearing with those audios and lead with love in your copy and your planning tomorrow, today, lead with love, you'll never lose. Love will get you through everything, right? To be a little bit romantic. And let's say, you know, it's the end of the day or the end of that three to four hour, you know, period where you get everything done. Before you set any more goals, just get your mind to be like Al Woods, you know, like, yes, I did it. No, I didn't. Return to plan, like return to plans, unsuccessful, canceled, successful. So just notice how you feel. And if you've got some energy you want to clear, just listen to those one minute audios and it will get you cleared up. OK, so that's kind of the do it quick. Just so really you got your worksheet, you could do it on Excel, you could do a brain dump and then like decide what you want to do this week and uh, you can visualize. Yeah. Any question on that before we move on to the next thing I wanted to do? Because you know me, I always want to give you more. <laughs> So I was reminded of something today that was a total perfect timing for this is have have you guys watched or heard of Atomic Habits, the book? And there's a lot of videos on YouTube of people who've done a book review and they talk about identity and they talk about habits. So how can I teach a course about planning without talking about atomic habits, right? I can't. I have to talk about identity. So. Is anyone here kind of wishing that certain things about them were different? So if you were meeting up with a friend and you were kind of gossiping a little bit about this friend you guys have in common and you love this friend dearly, but there's things about her that kind of annoys you and that like just, you just know that if only she could change those things, she would be a million times better. So you guys are not, gossiping is in the right word. We're like, hey, we love this friend. We really, really adore her. But if only she could change this, this and that, she would be, we know she would succeed. We know she'd be further along. Yeah? Can, are you guys all with me? We're going to pivot it to you are talking about you as if you're a third person. So this is something I teach in one of my previous course is called Voice and Visibility, and it literally is epic. Like it helps you have a third eye view on you and get really honest on the things you want to stop doing because your identity, so who we are, is just made up of like everyday small habits. Yeah. So if you like we don't get what we want, we get what who we are. So if I want to manifest something, I'm not going to manifest it unless I become the woman who already has it. Yeah. So before I manifested, like, I don't know what, I don't want to brag. Can you guys give me an example? Does it make sense? So before you can become a full-time therapist who has a ton of clients all the time, 
you kind of have are going to have different habits, different identities, different beliefs. You're going to show up differently and you're going to have different daily tasks that you do. But they're going to feel effortless. They're going to feel like normal. No big deal for her, right? So before we decide, so what I wanted to walk you through today was like, what do I want to stop doing every day that's not helping me? Like, what are the habits I definitely want to stop doing? But the way that you can find what those habits are that you want to stop doing is to kind of look at yourself from the point of view of, I, this is what I don't like about myself, but as if it's a friend. Does that make sense? Am I, can you, are you guys with me? You don't have to do this if you don't want to, but it, like when I, I do this exercise, maybe once a quarter and I'll write like, oh, what I don't like about Alex is, and I'll write what I don't like. And from that, I'll pivot to what I can start doing. Does that make sense? Because if I try to only think of what I want to start doing without that opposite, it doesn't, it doesn't, it's not as clear and concise and like direct. So what I've noticed is if you're like, what's something you could write down as something you dislike? Do you guys want to give me some example? Like I'm always behind or I don't know. Um, what I don't like about her as if she's a friend is... Yeah, I just had one come up about my previous me, maybe six to 12 months ago. And it became a lesson and I learned the lesson and I've definitely pivoted around it. So what I don't like about her is blank. So now my goal for myself can be, hey, I'm going to start working towards this. Yeah. And then, and then we can break down that vision, that ideal goal into smaller things. Like maybe for me to achieve this, so maybe something I didn't like was not enough yoga. I don't go to yoga enough. Okay, so I'm gonna start going to yoga more often. I'm gonna have a yoga body, get better at yoga. Okay, I can look up for classes. I can look up, I can go and take yoga at different places, yeah? So that's how you decide who do I wanna be Okay, I procrastinate, I'm so slow. Yeah, and this is the piece, you guys. So like the mind works with pictures. So the more you see yourself as someone who's slow and someone who procrastinates, the more you have this feedback mechanism of, oh, I'm so frustrated that I'm that way or she's that way. I don't like that about her. If only she could change that about her. But because we believe it, we're thinking it, it kind of keeps creating itself, yeah? And then the habits form your identity. Okay, so we're going to clear that up today. Shirley, are you with me? Do you want to comment in the, the comment on Zoom? Am I maybe missing your comments? No? Okay. Um, yeah, so delete. Let's delete, cancel. Clear, cancel, delete everything that creates that you're slow. What if you no longer saw yourself, saw yourself as slow? So Dorothy, you could maybe start making a list of evidence every day where you got through something faster than you had imagined. You're like, wow, I brushed my teeth faster. I cleaned the kitchen faster than I thought. You know what I mean? Because if we keep saying, I'm so slow, everything I do, I do everything so slow. It takes me forever to get anything done. We keep being right about it. So. Oh, and then like, yeah, what do you want to stop doing? And then who would the 2.0 version of you, how would she handle certain things? Like how would she? So um, this really helped me set a boundary with someone who was kind of starting. He's a friend, but he was starting to be too negative and toxic. And I realized that what I needed to stop doing was people please and be overly nice. And what my 2.0 would do is not even engage in the conversation and be done. Like my daily habit, or not daily habit, but my habit with this friend was just to be too kind because he's kind of has some issues. So I was just too nice. And it's like, I don't, that's not a habit I want to keep doing. You know what I mean? So what are the things you want to stop doing? And what are the things you want to start doing? And try to see if you can get them in your planner. Visualize yourself doing them. All right.
yeah, that was it for today. So what are the things I don't like about myself? But when you try to think about what do I like about myself, it's kind of hard. But imagine yourself talking about this friend that's you to someone else and be like, what don't I like about her? What do I wish she would do differently? And then you could do approval, control, safety around those habits you want to implement. You know, what am I afraid of if I start putting a boundary with with these habits, if I stop doing them? Like, Parveen, what are you afraid would happen if you stopped procrastinating? You know, or if you really started to be a lot more on top of everything? Why would you be opposed to be on top of everything, Parveen? <laughs> Dorothy, why would you be opposed to be faster and more productive? You know? So anyway, you guys can work through those and have fun. And uh, so if you joined us a little late, I'll tell you super quick about the giveaway. So if you want to enter the giveaway, just coming on the live and participating and commenting gets you one entry into, it's like an Excel sheet where everyone's name goes in once if you've come and you've commented and you've participated. And then if you share about the event on your wall or your stories and you tag me and you give people a way to join us, we're going to go for like another week. So it's fine if, if, you're, go if you're going to share over the next week. Uh, you get five entries. I feel like such a weird TV commercial right now. But anyway, so participating gets you one entry. So your name goes in once and then sharing it, your name goes in five times. So if you share twice, your name goes in 10 times. And then it's like a wheel and the wheel just spins. And then I get, and then like, I'll pick, what is there? Five or six people are going to win. And there's not that many of us. So hopefully everyone wins something. Um, and um, I might add more prizes because I love giving stuff. So that's the giveaway. And um, any other things you guys want to talk about I have a few more minutes if you want to kind of go over anything you're like any anything you want accountability so what what do you want I guess I didn't give you a whole lot of time for what you want to start doing as a as a habit so atomic habits what it the premise of atomic habits is we become the sum of what we do okay and there's actually if you want I'll share a worksheet that they talk about in the book that I made and it's it's you look at what you've done today and you notice if it was helpful unhelpful or neutral so I went to the gym was that helpful unhelpful neutral I watched this webinar was that helpful unhelpful or neutral I picked up the phone and talked to a friend for an hour how did I feel afterwards was that helpful unhelpful or neutral okay so I don't know if anyone's interested in that I can definitely posted as well I made a little cheat sheet to just fill in everything you've done to to feel if it's if it was a good habit or not towards the person you want to become I'll find it and, and share it it's it's somewhere in my yeah oh yeah does this habit help me become the person I wish to become we study like so in i have a um, like more of a program that's called made to win and we do a lot more identity work in that to manifest things from changing and like upgrading your identity but so i have this little guy i made yeah does this behavior or this habit help me become the person i wish to become so if you were to if you were to plan tomorrow today, would that help you? Would that be helpful, unhelpful, or neutral? That's it. Okay. So we're going to do energy readings next week. And uh, anybody want to tell us what they want to get done the rest of the week? Today, tomorrow, anything you want to share so we can... Talk about it next week. Tell us if you did it or not. Anything you want to celebrate. Anything you want to reward yourself for doing. Okay. Yeah, Elle Woods. Thank you, Jalen. 
All right, beauties, I want to work on creating a basic workbook for a client. So I think it was day two. What you guys be careful with creating and writing and any word that has like an ing in it. <laughs> because your mind is going to keep you creating till the end of the month <laughs> or whatever, like till the end of time. So how could we say it in a way, surely, where you see the end result? So I want to work on creating a basic workbook for a client. So I have created a basic workbook for a client that she loves it. It's the perfect workbook for her. I love creating it or I love working on it. But again, be careful with those because otherwise you're going to work on it forever because your mind is picturing you. I'm so relieved to have finished the new workbook. You got it. Do you guys feel the difference from... Like if you feel energy, I want to work on creating a basic workbook for a client. It feels like you're kind of threading water. You're just going to keep like hand washing the bed sheet forever. Like I'm picturing these women hand washing bed sheets at the river. <laughs> or I'm so relieved I have finished the new workbook. That's like done. I want to create a new workbook. Yeah, or I have created a new workbook. And how do I feel about it? Why do I love it? That's that beginning. We all need coaching on this, ladies. Like, no one taught us this in school, right? Like, no one. It's like money and goals. Nobody really taught us how to do money or goals. So here we are, right? We got to do it now. So why I love having achieved this goal. Why, why do you love having created this workbook? And how do you see yourself complete it? Just us talking about it, your brain's starting to create the neural pathways. It's like creating the little tree branches in your mind to just do it. So when you step into doing it, you're gonna be like, whoa, Alex, it took me 30 minutes instead of two days, you know, because the branches in your mind to create it are already created in beforehand. Does that make sense? Like you are creating the neural synapses to do it before you have to do it. So it's very efficient. Okay, I want to create a new workbook. You asked me what we want to work on for next week. I will create a new workbook. Oh, I see what you mean. So yeah, it's for next week. So the problem with this process, um, Shirley, is you're going to start creating it now. You're going to start having ideas now. So when you frame the goal like this, and you declare it with me here and you start to feel emotional about it, your mind's gonna create it now. Just FYI, but it's okay. You can just cancel the goal. Just say, hey, clear, cancel, delete if you want, but you're gonna start creating it now. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Yeah. I like the last one best. I like. I will create a new workbook. Yeah, sure. And as long as it makes sense, like um, the I am writing a website or I am writing a book, it, the mind is just going to get the command of writing, 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 not, yes, I've completed it. Yes, it's finished, you know, so it's a different synapse going on, connection. Okay, what did Parvin say? Con contact potential clients. So. Uh, yeah, that's cool. I mean, that's a good one if it feels like your heart is connecting to that, Parveen. But what do you love about contacting potential clients or how do you contact them? Yeah, get a little bit more specific. Um, so by next week, we'll check with Shirley if she's completed her awesome workbook. And Parveen's going to have gotten in touch gotten to speak to potential clients you can even do it like be a bit more visually specific like i've i've spoken to potential clients i've um got them on the phone or something i've been procrastinating on this so so what would be the habits of the woman who's gotten new clients so what would be the habits of the woman who's already been getting clients so that's a little bit of the quantum leaping i talked about in day three is the woman who wants the potential clients and the woman who's had them 
are two different identities. They're not the same identity. And if you want to leap from the woman who wants them to the woman who has them, all you got to do is start to think like her. So if I've already been getting a bunch of new clients, what would be my daily habits? What, how would I be starting my day? How does she um, reach out to them? Now, you guys, when you reach out or you get on discovery calls, because I know some of us are in sales, when you get on discovery calls from a place of, I'm already the woman who's been getting clients, you're going to have a completely different energy than the one who's like, if she doesn't buy from me, I'm a loser, right? Like there's like some stuff coming up. So just, yeah, identity work really helps with that. Okay. So what if you were not procrastinating, procrastinating on it? Yeah, and you guys, when we procrastinate towards a task, it's because we feel like it's associated with pain and rejection or some kind of pain. So do the three audios on it, Parveen. Approval, control, safety, and then you'll just get it done. I was procrastinating on telling all of you what was going to go on the giveaway because I was like, I don't know why there was a block around around it. And then when I cleared it, I got all the download of how it was going to go. And, and it's been amazing. I love it. So, so fun. All right. That's it for today. We got it. We got it all done under an hour. Good job. I'll see you guys next week. I think we're going to do Tuesday and Thursday next week. I might add another day on Friday and um, we're going to do readings. We're going to do more Q and A's. We're going to do shop with me in case anyone's like wondering next steps. Um, and we're going to welcome any new sisters who want to maybe hang around another week. Maybe we'll do another week. I don't know. We can keep going. And I'll tell you about how um, the group you're in now is going to either close or we're gonna keep it open like a, like a small membership so you can feel supported to continue to be productive, like a small, easy to join, easy to hang out, cancel anytime kind of membership in case we wanna keep this momentum going. Cause it's really fun when you have momentum because then things keep happening more and more easily. So lots of love. I will see you guys in the WhatsApp group or, um, or on Facebook. Okay. Bye, ladies. You're welcome.